today we will make the best sourdough buns in Thailand with a secret mix of European flowers. Vegan, of course. Sourdough starter from the refrigerator. If you want to know how to make sourdough, excellent sourdough starter, you need to like and subscribe and comment below and ask for a sourdough starter video. We are starting with um, uh, taking out the sourdough starter in the morning and pre preparing uh, everything because today we will prepare everything and tomorrow we will bake. 120 gram of sourdough starter 80 grams of rye flour and 80 grams of French wheat flour T65 T70 French rye flour 160 grams of water mix until completely smooth when it's smooth you put a rubber band so you know the level it is. When it has risen to double size, it's ready for mixing with the flour. And remember to cover up so there's no dust coming in. It shouldn't be airtight though. It needs to breathe. While we wait for the sourdough mix to rise, we will do the outer lies. 600 gram of French T65 wheat flour. Whole grain wheat flour 100 grams tea 150 500 grams of rye flour French cheese 170 10 grams of salt 1000 grams of water mix until smooth when it's uh, smooth just cover it up with a wet tea towel now the sourdough has risen to more than double size and we can use it now. Add 300 grams to the flour water mix that has already been autolyzed. And afterwards when you are finished with the 300 grams you can save the rest in the fridge for next time. Save the rest in the fridge for next time. Mix it well together for a couple of minutes. After the mix let it rest on the table for 30 minutes before the first folding. After 30 minutes you open it up and then you start the first fold. And then you take it down, you fold it over itself without um, pulling it too much. And then you go around one fold, two folds, Three folds and four folds, or you can even like I mean it doesn't really matter for me. Just fold it over again, and then when it's folded, just take the the dough from the sides and put it into the the middle of of everything. Smooth it out a little bit, then cover it up and wait for another 30 minutes. We are folding it three times with 30 minutes apart and after the third fold we will wait one hour uh, for the next fold. So we will have three folds with 30 minutes apart and then three or four folds with one hour apart. So in total six or seven folds. So this is how it looks after the last fold. You can see it's much larger than before and it's much more puffy. Now after the last fold we will cover it up and let it rest a half an hour so we can grow a little bit up before we put it into the refrigerator for the night. Then we put it in the fridge overnight. Next day we take out the dough from the refrigerator while we are heating up the oven and the oven is on air setting top bottom 
and on the maximum and on this oven it's 250 a well drizzled T65 wheat flour table then the dough will come out here and we will put the buns on baking paper here the dough some people use oil on the bowl to get it out easily because you don't want to stretch the dough so you because if you stretch the dough you will destroy the bubbles inside so if you can manage to take out the dough without stretching it too much so just slowly help it out without stretching it too much to preserve the bubbles inside so it can grow really nicely it's a little bit hard but but yeah you can see the bubble here for example a little bit uh, on the top so it's easier to handle when moving and also it gives a nice look for the, the buns. I make sure it doesn't stick to the table so when I cut it I can move it out from the, the, the whole piece. Uh, Try to cut out equal pieces of um, of buns without stretching the dough. So we cut it, and we have to move it without stretching. That's the idea. But sometimes it can be a bit hard. You can use the metal one to move it, but uh, it seems sometimes I accidentally touch the paper with the metal, and then the baking paper breaks, and I cannot reuse it. And I want to use it as many times as possible. Now I'll try to use the scraper to move the bun on the beat. After about 20 minutes the oven is hot and we can take out this guy close the oven again. and then we just take this guy and slide the buns on top. Adjust this a little bit and then you will open the oven again and take this guy in the middle of the oven yes. and then set the timer on 10 minutes you don't have to do this on the oven this is just a timer it can be anywhere you can see they're rising right? Mm -hmm. after the first 10 minutes we go down to 200 and put another 10 minutes on. First batch ready. The best sourdough bun in Thailand. Mmm. Mmm, The best sourdough buns in Thailand go very well with the with banana. Mmm,